Hello friends, in this video I'd like to solve the following problem from the Polish Mathematical Olympiad final round 2011, problem number 4. We wish to find all functions f and g from the set of real numbers into itself, satisfying f of x times f of y equals g of x g of y plus g of x plus g of y for all real numbers x and y. So it's a rather simple problem, here are my hints. First, let c be g of 0. And first, set x and y to be 0 to find f of 0. Then let just y to be 0 to find f of 0, f of x. And then, try multiplying our initial equation on both sides by f of 0 squared. And that should allow you to find g of x. And finally, it's very important, do not forget to verify your result. Do verification in the end. So give this problem a try and I will see you in just a minute. Right, so let's let's call our equation here asterisk, and I will set, or maybe first let, for the sake of brevity, let's c be equal g of 0, and now let's set x and y to be 0 in our condition asterisk. Then we have the following. On the left-hand side we have f of 0 squared, and on the right hand side we have c, 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 c. So it's c squared plus 2 times c. Right. Right. And now let's set only y to be 0 in our condition asterisk. What then? Then we have the following f of 0, f of x equals, on the right hand side we have g of 0 which is c times g of x plus g of x plus c. Alright. And now what I wish to do is to multiply, multiply our condition asterisk on both sides by f of 0 squared. Let's multiply our condition asterisk by, on both sides. Then, then we have the following. On the left hand side we, we can write f of 0 f of x times f of 0 f of y equals, and on the right hand side we can write f of 0 squared times g of x g of y plus g of x, plus g of y. All right, and now I will use these two equations which I have uh, derived. This equation, let's call this condition square, and let's call this condition triangle. By condition square, this can be replaced by, these two terms can be replaced by c g of x, plus g of x plus c, g of y plus g of y plus c, and on the right hand side we can replace f of 0 squared by c squared plus 2 times c. All right. Now, we need to multiply everything together. It's a bit of work, but nothing crazy hard. So we have on the left-hand side c squared g of x g of y plus c g of x g of y plus c squared g of x plus c g of x g of y plus Plus, uh, plus g of x g of y plus c g of x plus c squared g of y plus c g of y and finally plus c squared and all of that should be equal c squared g of x g of y c squared g of x 
c squared g of y plus 2c g of x g of y plus 2c g of x plus 2c g of y. Right, and now I will do a bunch of cancellations. For, for example, c squared g of x g of y, c squared g of x g of y, gone. C G of X G of Y C G of X G of Y two C G of X G of Y gone. Uh, what else? C squared G of X C squared G of Y C squared G of X C squared G of Y. And mo and also last cancellation C G of X C G of Y we can cancel with these numbers too, and we are left with just G of X G of Y plus c squared equals c g of x plus c g of y. And let's put this on the left hand side, g of x, g of y minus c, g of x minus c, g of y plus c squared equals zero. And now a nice thing will happen when once we set x and y to be equal, if we set x to be equal y, then we'll have the following g of x squared minus 2c g of x plus c squared equals 0. And here we have, of course, this nice formula. It's g of x minus c squared equals 0, which means that for every real number x, g of x must be equal to c for every real number. So our function g is constant, in other words. And using that, we can now find f of x using our very first condition asterisk. Condition asterisk now becomes, on the left hand side we have f of x, f of y, and on the right hand side we have g of x, g of y, which is c squared, plus g of x plus g of y is 2 times c. And let's set again x and y to be equal then then we will have the following that f of x squared equals c squared times 2 times c and now that can be true if this is to be true or maybe you know what i will start mm. you know what no, no no let's do something different uh remember that f of zero squared f of zero squared is c squared plus two times c in other words i can put x and y to be zero and that means of course since we have square on the left hand side, this need to be non-negative. We must have c squared plus 2 times c greater than or equal 0, i.e. that happens if and only if c is from this interval union this interval. Very easy to verify. And that means that f of 0 equals plus or minus c squared plus 2 times c. All right. And now let's call this condition right here double asterisk. And now let's set y to be 0 in double asterisk. Let's set y to be 0 in double asterisk. Then we have the following f of x times plus or minus c squared plus 2 times c equals c squared plus 2 times c and after multi after simplification we will get f of x equals plus or minus c squared plus 2 times c and also to be completely clear uh First, we choose the sign, and then this sign is good for every real number x. So maybe I will write it in form with quantifiers. For every real number x, f of x is either minus square root 
of c squared plus 2 times c, or for every real number x, f of x equals plus square root of c squared plus 2 times c. Um, yes, yes. So, and that means that we have exactly two, we have exactly two families of solutions. So solutions, solutions, f of x equals square root of c squared plus two times c, and g of x equals c. Or or f of x equals plus square root of this. And let's remember that where c is a number between minus infinity minus 2 union 0 plus infinity. So we have, in fact, infinitely many solutions. And that closes our problem. So, yes, pretty nice problem, I'd say. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that you've learned something new this time, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.